everyone and welcome back to another Expedition Sunday. So we are here at the new lake right behind my house and I am really excited. So this is basically my backyard. It is a big community park. There is a two mile trail that goes around the lake and it's absolutely fantastic. So today we are once again going to go on our little expedition to see what kind of amazing things we can find just in my own backyard. And remember, that's what the whole point of this is, is to show you guys if we can just get outside and adventure, you never know what you might find. <sighs> Look at you. Oh, I think it's a yellow swallowtail. If you guys remember, we did vlogs on this little one. Look at him go, this is a mimosa tree, and we did vlogs with a yellow swallowtail last year when I found one of the caterpillars, and we kept it and took care of it until it hatched, and now look at him. Oh, he's so pretty. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a better view of him. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the tree that he's on is actually a mimosa tree, and it's actually one of my favorite plants ever. Look at him zip around. Not even two minutes in already, we found something absolutely beautiful. Yeah, look at him. Oh, that's so pretty. But yeah, these are the flowers of a mimosa tree, and they are one of my favorite trees of all time because they are so beautiful. And these blossoms are still coming in. You can see the tiny little buds. Let me see if I can get to focus. Focus, focus. There we go. The tiny little buds that are coming in, and you can see the beautiful pink blossoms. They're so soft. It's just like touching a really gentle little feather. Oh my goodness. And I love them. Is our friend gone? Yeah, he's working his way through, so he's going to go around. The pollinators are very active in this area. You can see another bee moving and grooving in the flowers, and I've seen quite a few wasps and other, other pollinators in the zone. So we'll have to see. Oh, there's our little butterfly friend way up there again. There he goes. <laughs> we'll have to see what else we can find. But yeah, that's the whole point of these Expedition Sundays is to literally just go into common parks and backyards and see what kind of wildlife can be found. So just, I don't go out of my way to find these things and you guys can find them too. So go see what you find out there. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you see in your backyards, especially because we have a worldwide community, which is so exciting. So beautiful mimosa blossoms, awesome pollinators, beautiful butterflies already. Let's go see what else we can find. <laughs> Do you guys see the tiny, tiny little minnows? They're very small, and if I get too close, then they're going to start scurrying away. But let's see. Oh, there we go. Do you see them? They're almost the same color as the little sand there. Look at all of them. Oh, we've got some bigger fish moving around now. Oh, did you see that? I can't, oh, there they are, there they are. They make some pretty big splashes. Oh, there's some darker guys over here too. Oh, 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 oh. oh, they're so cute. Look at all the little ones. So they're really moving around. But yeah, this is our new lake, you guys. It is absolutely beautiful. This is basically what my backyard is. I just have to get off, ooh, is that a dragonfly? I think there's a little dragonfly over there. Look at him go. I wonder what he's up to. Who knows? Oh, and you guys are making noise. Look at all the ripples from these tiny, tiny fish. They're chasing each other quite a bit. They're more distracted with one another than they are with me hovering over them. So, it, oh, they definitely are nibbling each other's back fins. There's some little territorial defenses. Oh my gosh, look how tiny they are. There's a whole bunch of ittiest, bittiest ones right down here. Oh, this is fantastic. I cannot wait to get a better camera so I can get this better shot for you guys in the future. Because there's a whole bunch of little itty bitty baby fish. They're about the same color as the sand, so it can be a little tricky to see them. But yeah, this is our new lake. It is often filled to the broom with turtles. I see turtles over here all the time. Kind of late in the evening for them, though. And there are a couple egrets that live in the lake, and I see them pretty regularly. So hopefully we'll be able to spot more egrets coming up. Oh my goodness, they really are fighting. 
They're so busy for baby minnows. And here is a new vocab word for you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you know the name for baby fish. So, what is the name for baby fish? I'm going to give it a couple moments. You know, we're going to go like da-dun, da-dun, da-dun. What are these guys called? Can you see them? Because they're, they're the same color as the sand, so you kind of have to look for moving little sand pieces. Oh, there they go. Oh, my gosh. They're all over the place. But these guys are known as fish fry. So baby fish are known as fish fry and minnows. And I'm not sure what the difference is. So I'm going to have to learn what the difference is between a fish fry and a minnow. But fry, F-R-Y, is one of the terms used to describe baby fish. So there we go. We've, got, we've had a beautiful set of pollinators on a lovely tree. And now we have some fish fry. So let's see what else we can find today. So you won't be able to see it at all. But one of the blue cranes is up in the tree, right there. What you doing, buddy? And he's making very cranky little mm, cranky noises. And he's absolutely adorable. I've never seen a crane or an eager up in a tree before, so this is really cool. Water snake. There's a little water snake. I startled it off of a branch. Let's see if we can see where he's going. Where you going, little guy? Oh, under the water. Dang it. That's so cool. But we just saw a little water snake. That was so exciting. I couldn't even tell what kind it was. I just saw its, its ripple movement through the water. And that's the only way I knew it was a water snake. But I'll have to keep my... Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. He dived down to try to avoid me. There he is. Hang on, let me see if I can get him again. There we go. Hi guys. Nice little evening dabbling ducks. Are you guys ready to see something very special? That, as horribly grainy as it is, and a reminder that I need to invest in a better camera, is an owl. It is paying very, very close attention all the little finches nearby that are potential food. It is very big. What a beautiful sight. Oh my goodness. And here we go. Even in the middle of a big busy city, we have this beautiful park. I'm so lucky. There are paved paths and there are unpaved paths mixed in along the riverbank, or the lake bed bank. <laughs> and I love it. And look over here, you guys. Some of my favorite things. So many different species of mushroom. There's one there. There's a little puffy one back here. Another tiny one back here. Over here. Look at this pretty one. Hiding down there. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. And I just know we're going to find so many things as time goes on. Even though there's dozens of other people that walk these trails with me every day, I don't feel crowded. I miss the mountains. It's definitely a lot more humid here, but it's just so beautiful. And I can't wait to share more of it with you guys.